Welcome to your first lesson, an introduction to DesignCAD. DesignCAD is located on your desktop. Here's the shortcut, so you can go ahead and double click on that. Once you've done, you've done that, the program will start and a little window will show up. You have three options on this window that we normally choose. The open an existing drawing, creating a new drawing, and then drawing units. We're going to just select millimeters if it isn't already selected, and then press OK. And press OK again. Once you've done this, a blank screen shows up that's white, and at the top you have a ruler which indicates that you are drawing in millimeters. Above that you have a toolbar, and on the left side of that you also have another toolbar. And then above your toolbars you have drop-down menus, which have a whole bunch of different tools and options for your drawing. We'll talk a little bit about those later. So on the top here, you can select a new drawing, opening, opening existing drawings. You can have multiple drawings open at one time. Here's your save button. Now you only want to select this save button after you've done file save as, so that you you want to select this first so you have a location, a specific location for your drawing. And we'll talk about that in lesson two. You have a print drawing. We have a printer in the industrial arts drafting lab, which we can print to. And some zoom tools here, which we don't use too often. Refresh, that's if there's a whole bunch of garbage on your screen and you want to refresh it and it'll redraw your drawing. We'll skip over here. We can draw in two dimensions or three. We are using this program for two-dimensional drawings. And then we'll skip over, actually none of these here we really use. If you ever see any of these indented so that they're darker like this, make sure that you click on them and they are not selected. Okay, so it should look like this. On the left side of your screen, you have your cursor. This is your zoom tools. Your line drawing tools, we use these first two the most often. Okay, the first one we can use to draw angles, the second one straight lines, and then of course there's some curve drawing, and then some freehand pencil drawing tools, which we don't really use too often in this program. Underneath the line drawing tools is the box or the different shape, shapes that you can draw. This is quite commonly used in the 3D section. Here's some arc drawing tools, and it, as you can see, if I hold down these uh, different tools, a whole bunch of other tools show up that we can use that are similar to this. Here's your circle drawing tools, your polygon or plane drawing, so there's different shapes in here. Array we don't use very often. Dimensions, so you can dimension straight lines, angles, circles, uh, curves, and so forth. We use this one quite a bit. Also your text, if you hold this down, there's different ways to put place text. This is a one we use quite a bit. It's your trim tool. So once we have something drawn, we can go ahead and trim it. We'll skip this one. This is your hatching. We'll use that later on. And then your color toolbox as well. And on the right side over here are your zoom tools. So let's just talk about that a little bit. If I'm just going to take here and draw freehand a box, And if I want to zoom into this box, I can press fit to screen or fit to window, and it will zoom right into that. It will take up the whole window space. I can use this one here, which is your zoom window. I can draw a little box around the area I want to zoom into. I can use the plus. If I click this plus magnifying glass, I can click once and zoom in a little further. If I click it three or four times, one, two, three, I can use it that many times, one, two, three, and it goes back to my cursor. I can also take the negative and do the same, one, whoops, I want to use it four times, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or I can go previous zoom. So let's fit to window, zoom to window, and uh, you can see what we have. These are all very commonly used. We use our zoom tools all the time. And that's a, the end to lesson one, an introduction to DesignCAD.